Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today I will be super helpful video to any vehicle having a Honda Accord that generation from year 2008 to year 2012. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where the immobilizer fuse is located, which fuse you need to check for the immobilizer if your car doesn't start, where the fuse is located, where to buy cheap fuses and realize that way don't waste your money. All that will be covered in this video today guys for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us, guys. If you have that Honda Accord, that generation from year 2008 to 12, we'll be making video for every fuse, every relay. Why we do that, guys? To save you time and money. Because in the manual, it's not clear what the fuses are for. On those little bitty labels, you have abbreviations that you have no idea what it means. And let's say you're down the road, you need a fuel pump fuse, or you need to find a cigarette lighter fuse because you cannot charge your phone and your navigation doesn't work. Stay with us, guys. And we're going to share videos on that channel for every single fuse and relay uh, another thing every single car guys that we get at our garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything the mechanical videos will be on our main youtube channels right there guys all together we have about 1.2 million subscribers we have helped over 1 million people save thousands of dollars and uh, let me show you something else guys if you need to buy relays fuses at a really good price guys we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from that way you don't waste uh, time and money guys uh, because some of those could be really expensive you have those special fuses uh, that are specific honda fuses that could be really expensive hard to find and uh we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can find the fuses realize that way you don't waste your money so the immobilizer guys you actually have two different fuses in two different fuse boxes fun fact about that honda accord you have three fuse boxes we work in just two of them we'll demonstrate on 2010 model the first fuse box is inside the vehicle and we're talking on the driver's side look upside down under the dash guys look all the way up above the pedals if you go upside down you're going to see a fuse box layout that looks just like okay this one right here before we continue now let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays so let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so the immobilizer fuse guys where it is located if we zoom in a little bit and we come right there now let's explain here guys you see numbers next to the fuses very conveniently and fuse number nine it's a 20 amp fuse you will need to check that fuse right here then you have one more under the hood okay in the engine bay that's the main fuse box here open that cover and you're going to see that layout that fuse box here guys we need to check another fuse and uh, this fuse guys specifically we're talking about fuse number 15 which will be located right here that 10 amp fuse it's fuse number 15 hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time